Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's webinar for Send Out Cards and Social Media. I am, uh, my name is Casey Everhart. If you don't know, we've never met before. Uh, super excited to have you all here. I have my co-presenter and one of my best friends in the entire world, Phoebe Trotman. Phoebe, say hello, young lady. Hi guys, so excited to be here. Thank you guys for taking time on out of your day to hop on here and, and learn a little bit more. We're gonna have some fun tonight. Yeah, so you guys, tonight is all about you. And let me kind of just tell you a quick where this came from. I do a weekly call on Send Out Cards for Send Out Cards builders, right? And if you want to jump on that um, weekly call, it's thecoolcall.com. Just go put your name and email address in there. You get no marketing messages. It's just a reminder call for our weekly Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Pacific call, okay? So that's if you're building a Send Out Card business. So one time on there, we started asking people what they really wanted to hear about, and it kept coming up over and over and over, social media, social media, social media, social media. And Phoebe and I were talking, and we said, hey, let's jump on and do a call. And so last week, we did a call. That call is available, I believe it's on iTunes, and we'll, uh, we, we can get you that call link if you need it. Um, but Phoebe and I, it was unbelievable. Phoebe is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to social media and how she uses it to build her send out card business. I use send out cards. Uh, I use social media, primarily Facebook, to build my send out card business. So we thought, hey, let's do a webinar and and uh, and see what we can put together. So we just thought we would put this together. We put it out there. Uh, the overwhelming response was, hey, would you just get in Facebook and really kind of just show it and show us nitty gritty kind of how tos and actual practical stuff. And so what we're going to do tonight, you guys, is we have a list. If you know Phoebe, you know she loves a good list and she loves a good itinerary and she loves a good plan. So here's the, here's the itinerary planned out portion of tonight's call. High likelihood, if you know me at all, you know we're gonna go off the rails, but I love throwing Phoebe off and so we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. Um, so Phoebs, before I kinda get started talking about kind of the nitty gritty and, and really get in here, you wanna, you wanna jump in and say anything? Oh, all of a sudden my computer froze. Say that question again for me. Sorry. <laughs> so before we get I heard everything that I heard. before we get cranking, you want to say anything? You guys, I'm just really excited. What we're going to do tonight is just share some of the things that we're doing every single day in building our business. And again, it's going to be hands on. So definitely take some notes. And the biggest thing that I want everyone to think about is how the reason we wanted to put this together is how we as a Send Out Cards community can elevate everybody's social media presence as a, as a company. And so what the stuff we're going to talk about tonight, definitely put it into practice in your business, but also share it with your team. Because one of the things that Casey and I have done is some of the stuff that we're doing, this is stuff that we teach to our team, who teaches to their team, to their team, and their team. And again, it just elevates everybody's presence. Because the stuff we're going to talk about is going to increase your brand. It's going to increase your exposure in social media, which is going to help build your credibility and trust online. And that's really what we're going to talk about tonight. Some simple things that you can do. And also we're going to touch a little bit on how you can grow your network using um, Facebook as well. We're just going to touch on Facebook tonight. Um, that's the one we both use the most. And so let's go through it and just have some fun with it. If you have questions, please go ahead and use the chat so that we can answer them because we want it to be practical. We want it to be stuff that as soon as this is done, we can all start implementing implementing it right away. Awesome. Cool. So you guys, what the first thing I want to talk about is just conceptually for only about 10 seconds or 15 seconds here, you have to start looking at Facebook as a social media platform. Everything we do today is done on social media for the most part. So if you're not building on social media, none of this applies. Okay. But I am going to tell you that social media is a very powerful platform because it allows you to build your brand get exposure, and more importantly, and most importantly for both Phoebe and I, help our teams build um, as a way. And I've, I've already pre-created some examples, both good and not so good, so that we can go and check them out. So here's what I'm gonna do first. First off, I'm gonna attempt to share the screen, and we're gonna go right live to my Facebook page. Now, I'm asking you guys if you are live with us on Facebook. I am not technically excited, or I'm, I'm not, I am low tech, big check. So, Please don't send me Facebook chats in the middle of this. I don't know how to turn Facebook chat off. I don't, you are going to find out very quickly, and I swear I've got Bruce right to my left, and I can tell he's already starting to 
Facebook chat me, but I can go and just swap in one in like two seconds. Okay. So this is in real time. So you're, I have not checked my Facebook page in a few minutes, um, which means that I'm sure there are going to be lots of comments going on here, but we're going to roll right onto my Facebook page. Okay. So Bruce, do I go to this one or desktop one? No, Google Chrome. Google Chrome. Okay. Here we go, guys. We're just going to log right into my Facebook page. So hopefully you can see my, um, hopefully you can see my Facebook page. I want to see if I can add chat on here as well. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, how do I get rid of this stupid chat? Do you know how I get rid of this stupid chat? One more. Yeah, just look at it right there. Where? Yeah, pull down. This? Love me some technology. It's awesome. Okay, we're going to attempt this one more time. Here we go. Okay, so we're on my Facebook page right here and right now. So I want to start right here in the center. There are five things that we never post about, and here's why. Um, you have to think of it this way. Most of you don't have massive teams of tens of thousands of people. So in the, in the small, small time, it may not make a huge difference, but later on, it's going to be huge for you. You want to keep your space, if you will, as open as possible so that you don't upset people when they come to your Facebook page. As leaders in Send Out Cards, we are being watched by our friends, our family, our prospects, our teammates, our teammates' prospects leaders in other companies, and then they're going to get a good snapshot of who you are based on your Facebook page. So I don't ever post about these five things. Number one, sports. Now, most people don't understand why sports, but I'll give you a quick example. I live in California. USC and UCLA are very big rivals. Well, if somebody is a fanatic about USC and I'm about to bring on a UCLA person, and I'm all over Facebook posting about USC, there's a chance that they may not join me because we're rivals. Seems silly enough, but you're going to hear me say this over and over again, um, that people are nutty. They're just nutty, okay? Um, next up, religion. I never post about religion, not because I don't, um, I'm not interested in religion. I don't post about religion because I don't want to upset somebody looking at my page. I don't believe anybody's going to change the deity that they believe in because of my post on Facebook. Okay. Sex. I hope that's self-explanatory. Um, this is another big one. Politics. Nobody's going to change your mind and you're not going to change my mind by posting on Facebook all about your politics. But what I can tell you is that let's say um, your upline, you went to their Facebook page and they just were, it's all politics and it's the antithesis of what you happen to believe. And then they say something like, I'm gonna donate all my residual income to this particular political cause or candidate and that's out of alignment with who you are. It works both ways. Remember that people, your prospects, your prospects' prospects, your teammates' prospects are all gonna be watching and then finally, no negativity. The reality is nobody cares that you had a bad experience at you know, Delta Airlines or Bank of America or whatever, but what they can know is that if something goes wrong, they know that you won't have a problem going all over Facebook and posting about it. Psychologically, it really makes people feel like um, they don't wanna do business with you for fear of something going wrong and you railing it on Facebook. Now, let me give you an example. Um, I just wrote this, um, you know, this is a post I put today, business is booming. Nick posted a video on here. This is about as negative, if you will, as I get, okay? So I wrote, I wrote this today. I wrote, so funny how it seems things to work out. Yesterday I had one of the most challenging calls in 10 years, and this morning I had one of the best calls in 10 years. I simply love the ups and downs of this gig called, gig called entrepreneurship. I don't consider that too negative, but it is on the line. I put this on here for a reason that um, that's a little almost too close to the line for me because I know that the person uh, that I had a challenging call with is gonna see that post, okay? And I don't want that person to feel bad, although it was a really challenging call. 
So as soon as we're done with this webinar, I will absolutely delete that post. I wanted to leave it up there to give you guys kind of an example. Okay? So my whole vision for, for Facebook is give, 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 ask. Meaning, give value, give value, give value, give value, give value, give value, ask somebody to take an action. Okay? Give, 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 ask. You'll notice that on a lot of stuff, you will not see my, this is a value play, right? So I do a little quote, okay? Here's your quote action. To be aware of a single shortcoming within oneself is more useful than to be aware of thousands of somebody else. It's a Dalai Lama, right? That's value, right? I'm not asking them to click here or send this, send, check this out or whatever. It's just simply I'm giving something into the space, okay? Here's another one. This is as send out card Z as I'm going to get in a post, okay? One of the things I love most about my business is that it's 100% done by phone. If you have a smartphone and cell coverage, we can make some extra money together, okay? Now, interestingly enough, guys, um, can I move this bar right here? Okay, so check this out. You'll notice that this guy, Tyler, um, you'll notice this guy, Tyler, um, commented, well, look what he wrote down here. This was his comment after that post last night. Hello, Casey, how can I make money with send out cards? That is how my business gets built. And you'll notice that he just liked this post. He didn't actually even say anything, okay? So just gonna give you another couple of examples here and then, Phoebs, I'm gonna turn it, post it over to you. I do some Facebook Lives. This was a video I did yesterday. Um, I do a weekly podcast. I ended up doing it Facebook living. You can see right on here, I have 526 views on this thing. A um, bunch of people have liked it, commented on it, so on and so forth. Okay, um, here's, here is my um, a thing for the call I did last night. Um, post good news, right? Jordan Adler, our number one incomer, always talks about you want to post good news. Well, I was the first, I locked up a real estate deal last night. That was good news for me. Simple, easy post on Facebook, okay? Um, let's see, I wanted to go down and post what happens if you do this right. Oh, uh, this is another um, sort of send out cardsy post I put. Two people are gonna make a lot of extra money work with me, hashtag just saying. Why is that important for me? Because I'm looking for the two people that I'm gonna help take to executive. Okay, because I'm an executive, I'm trying to get to senior executive, so I'm looking for those two folks, right? Um, let's see. Um, you can see here, uh, I wrote, I build networks and those networks make more money. Simple as that. Okay, look what Steve Schultz came in and wrote. Proven, I work with Casey very closely. He was our distributor of the year in 2015. Don't miss this chance, right? So we got, we got that. Um, I talked about building it. I wanted to go down here to this post. This is why we do what we do on Facebook. So I teach my team to, here's what I know how to do. You guys, and this is the premise of my whole business. Here's what I know how to do. I know how to put a picture on the front of a card, type a message, add a box of brownies, and hit send. If it's anything outside of that, you can ask Brucey sitting right here. The reason Bruce is sitting, Bruce Waterman, our volunteer of the year, is sitting right here is because he knows that there's a high likelihood I'm gonna hit wrong buttons on just a simple thing as Zoom, right? He sits here because he knows that he can make these super spectacular cards. I can't. I know how to take a picture off of Facebook, put it on the front of a card, add a box of brownies, and hit send. So this is a buddy of mine, Chris. Um, he was a speaker at an event I spoke at. This picture right here is one I took off of Facebook. I put it on the front of a card. I typed a simple message on the inside added a box of brownies, and hit send. Sent it off. This is what Chris did for me. Now, I didn't ask him to do this, but this happens all the time. Look, Casey Eberhardt definitely knows how to treat his associates amazingly and win people over. Chocolate and gifts, two of the best things in the world. Casey uses send out cards to create high-touch marketing, and he also teaches business owners how to grow their business very successfully. Thank you, Casey, and I certainly look forward to growing and working together big in 2017. That's huge. Right now, look at all the comments down here. We got a bunch of comments going on down here. So what he did inadvertently, he doesn't even know this, is he posted that on my wall, which helped me grow my business, okay? Now, 
Let me suggest something to all of us here because we're on send out cards. I'm going to tell you um, that before this webinar, I went and edited this post. And I don't normally delete comments, but I had to delete a few comments from fellow send out cards reps. Okay? And here's why. If you see something like this on one of our posts, don't put your send out cards link on my picture post. Right? I'm not going to go to your wall and put my send out cards link on your thing. Um, you don't want to make comments on somebody's posts like this that indicate that you're also in send out cards because now you're taking away the marketing from me or from Phoebe or from you. So do things in support of this post, but don't do things like, well, how did you make that? Where do I find that picture? Is that on sincere? Is that posted in the group? Are you going to do, um, are you going to do a training on how to do this with your team? Those are not super appropriate. Private message me those, happy to answer them at all the time, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you one more quick thing and then I'm gonna tell you that you gotta go audit your Facebook page. So, um, I did a post right before we started this, two exact different ways. One way I'm gonna recommend that you do and one way I'm gonna recommend that you don't do, okay? So, this is um, our, uh, I think Jenny Potter was senior manager of the year. Am I right, Phoebes? Okay, senior manager of the year, um, Jenny Potter. I got sick. I threw out my back. She sent me this card, okay? She sent me this card. Now, here's what I did. I took two pictures of the card. I went and I posted this on my Facebook wall, okay? I put, and I tagged her in it. I put, Jenny Potter makes me feel so special. And I put pictures of the cards. That is a give to get post, okay? I posted that hoping that somebody was going to comment on that post on my wall so that I could build my send out cards business. That's okay sometimes, but let me show you the same post and how much better effect it will have on Jenny building her business, okay? So check this out. If I go to Jenny's post, Jenny's wall, I posted the same thing, but this time what I did was instead of putting it on my wall and tagging her, I literally went to her wall on Facebook and simply did this same post. Same two pictures, but I said, thank you, Jenny Potter, for the awesome Get Well card. You make me feel so special. Almost the exact same post. But what it does is now it allows her friends to look at that and, and comment growing her business, okay? So let me give you a couple more. Now, I happen to use, I'm an iPhone user, so I use, a, um, I use an app called WordSwag. Okay, I use an app called Word Swag, and I love going and making these cutesy little things and putting them on somebody else's wall, hoping to draw attention to their wall for them. So this is one I put up on Bruce's wall right before we went live. It says, congrats on growing your business today, Bruce Waterman. Again, I put that on his wall, not tagging that on my wall. Okay, look, he's already got, um, he's already got four people that have liked the post, okay? Um, so now that's, that's one, one way I did it. Now I also, uh, let me see here. Um, so I did a couple more of these. So Stephanie, um, is a brand new distributor with us. She just hit manager. She's awesome. Okay. So look at what happened. She sent a picture of a, a, a card out on um, this person, Eliza Ellis. Um, sent her a wall picture, posted this all over her Facebook page. This is what I did for Stephanie yesterday on Word Swag. Okay, congrats Stephanie on growing your business today. Awesome job. I went and put that. Now, she's got a couple of people that like that, but look at all these people are posting because she's using the system. Okay, let me show you one more, just to give you kind of an idea of stuff that you can do with this Word Swag is making these little things. Kathy Rickley, senior manager. Um, she was our rookie of the year last year. Uh, she posted in my private group that she had got two checks yesterday. So I went to Word Swag and I said, congrats, congrats, Kathy Rickley, on receiving not one but two checks a day. I love it. Now, you'll notice, by the way, I did not put a Send All Cars logo on here because I don't, now I know she wouldn't mind, but I don't want to make it seem like I'm promoting her Send All Card business if she didn't. What I want to do is create intrigue on her wall, okay? So, Phoebes, I'm going to turn it back over to you. I'm going to let you talk about how useless the Facebook group is. 
Um, I know that's on my list, but I'm talking too much. Um, and you guys, here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Your first thing of the day today is go to your Facebook page, go to your Facebook page and just scroll down and ask yourself, am I posting about one of the five topics that I shouldn't be? Am I doing something where I'm trying to promote too much? Am I, and go through and just scroll down and just scroll down and ask and ask yourself and see if there's anything that you need to delete. Go back your back 10 posts and just see if there's anything that you might need to um, delete off of there. And if there is, you just simply go up to this little drop down menu here, change date, delete post, hit delete, and the post is gone. Okay? Simple as that. So we talked about word swag. We talked about adding value, uh, adding value to folks. We talked about word swag. There's Canva. There's all kinds of different things. And Phoebe is really the master at this concept of creating a graphic like that and posting it on somebody's wall. I literally learned that from Phoebe. So Phoebs, I'm going to jump it over to uh, I'm going to jump it over to you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Casey. That was great. And one of the things that actually I want to touch on because you actually showed. Hang on, one, hang on, one, hang on, a second, Phoebe. Okay. Bonnie, you didn't have to put that in chat. But I'm glad that you, I'm glad, uh, I hope it wasn't offensive, but um, yeah, Bonnie, uh, <laughs> so you're, 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 you're good, Bonnie. Okay, cool. Well, you guys, one of the things I quickly want to mention, so Casey just showed a great post on Kathy Rickley's wall. We'll use Kathy Rickley's for example. Notice that post created curiosity. He didn't say the business, he kept it open. And one of the things that we can do as a Sino Kurtz community when we see those posts is engagement. And Casey talked about that. So what do I mean by that? Liking or loving the post, typing something that supports like woohoo, way to Kathy or congratulations. Wow, that's awesome. Two in one day. Stuff that's going to reinforce that post and it's going to create the curiosity. I want you guys to think about this. I heard this quote and it just, it rings true. So powerful. And I think about it every single time I do stuff on social media and I want to read it to you. Your friends won't support you till strangers start celebrating you. Ooh, say that again. Think about that. Okay. I loved it. Your friends, and you can add in family, but your friends, I'm going to say your friends and family won't support you till strangers start celebrating you. So think about that one for a second. We, as a Sendo Cards community, are quote unquote strangers to our team right? So their family and their friends don't know who Phoebe Trotman is. But when I can support someone and when I can celebrate someone, it increases their credibility, their trust, their belief in their friends and family's eyes. And that's one of our roles that we can do. So let's talk a little bit about, um, I'm just going to go ahead and I want to touch on this because it ties into edification and recognition. Okay. So this is a cool graphic. I literally just Googled edification. Okay. So edification is literally raising someone else's profile. It builds, it connects. We're coming in as a stranger or an expert. And what we're able to do, we're going to talk about, we talked about edification in person at events at convention. I want to talk about online edification because we can do something similar through supportive posts like Casey just shared. And it's gonna build that trust to the friends and family of whoever we're posting about. And we're coming in as that stranger or that expert, which raises again their credibility. Trust, belief, all of it. So anyways, let's talk about some more examples. One of the things that I love doing is when a team member promotes, celebrating them, yes, in the online or in our official Facebook group, absolutely. We want to make sure that we're doing that. We do a great job of doing that and posting comments. But I want you guys to think about that quote that I just started off with. This is a new uh, manager on our team, hit manager very, very quickly. So what I did was I took her picture, found a cool picture. I put it with, that's actually a card in our Sendo Cards card catalog. So I literally just put it together and posted it. Now, I want you guys to look at the language because the other thing when we're posting and we're edifying and we're celebrating other people is the language that we use. We want to create that curiosity, but we want to also make a supportive one and again, raise or edify that person in the eyes of everybody else that's looking onward. So for example, Kelly Sabelgrave, congrats, congrats, congrats on your manager promotion. I'm seriously so proud of you. You've gotten off to a super fast start in your new business and this is just the beginning. So excited to be on this fun journey with you. Keep on rocking it. Now, I could have put more in there about her as a person, and I probably now, looking back on it, I would have added even more to support her, but I want you guys to look at how many people commented on her or liked it, 138 awesome. others, okay? Now, those are people who just liked it, and then there's a list of comments. 
one of the things that I want us as a community to do and to train our team, and I talked to Kelly about this, is every person who commented on her post, she liked it and she hit reply and thank you. Now you'll notice some of those ones she needs to go back and do it. So Kelly, I know you're on here. Go ahead and, and reply to those ones. But let's take it a step further. So she hit like and reply on several of them. I don't know. I don't want to. Let me click on it and see if it's, it's loading. I'll just leave it for right now. But a lot of people she did do that with. She liked it and hit reply. Thank you so much on the public page. Take it a step further. And this is what we talked her to do and this is how she's been booking webinars and appointments non-stop because every person who commented she sent them a private message and in that private message she said to them hey thank you so much for your support it means the world to me I'd love to schedule time to show you what I'm working on to get your further support or just something generic again I don't have the messaging right now oh my gosh I, so just now, had, I just had a total aha moment you that told me that privately and I never really understood what they were private messaging Oh, that, oh, that is hashtag, yeah, it, hashtag hot diggity. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad you love it. But simple. So she sent private messages to every single person. Again, you can do it with the people who liked it, but especially at first, the people who commented. Com private message them. So you post on the public one a thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Whatever you want to do there. But now take a step further. Private message that person. Again, say thank you so much. It really means the world to me. And rekindle that relationship. Because some people are going to post a congratulations that you might not have talked to in a long time reestablish that rapport but absolutely they just they support you that's the reason they said like or love or congratulations they want to support you so it's okay to say you know what I'd love to share with Casey with what I'm doing right now um, when can we get together this week or next for a coffee or an online demo that's it she has been booking she will be senior manager very soon because she's been booking appointments now again go back to that quote your friends and family won't support you until strangers start celebrating you. Because I came in as a quote unquote expert, again, I'm using that in air quotes because I'm by no means an expert, but people don't know who I am. But you so all of a sudden, star, it's like very happy. You are kind of a, 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 a big deal. You did star in Air Bud, the movie. So, oh, yeah. stop it, young man. I need to stay on track with my notes. Side note. Again, simple, you guys. And if we can, as a community, again, if you are connected with Kelly, go in there and say, congratulations, way to go. The more comments that we can do in support of, of everybody else, it increases, again, that engagement. We do it on the official, and it, absolutely, you guys, we need to do it on the official, but I'm just saying take it a step further. Now, I want to do a quick little pause because we do not get paid to be on Facebook. So I want to say that again, we do not get paid to be on Facebook, yet Facebook is a powerful tool. So we want to do these posts in off hours. It might be, you know, some of the posts I did this morning was at 5.30 in the morning, or I'll do it late, late at night. Again, or in pockets of your day. If you're waiting for an appointment, great time to give someone some Facebook love. But again, we don't get paid to be on Facebook. So I want to preface that, that it's quick on and off, on and off. So that's one example. The other way we can do it, I love this, is celebrating team members, creating curiosity. This is a great post. So Callie, one of our executives, celebrating another executive, Willie, by saying, huge congratulations, you're rocking it. Congrats on being the top 25 in the company for an incentive trip to Cancun this July. You're on fire, my friend. People are watching us. We don't realize how many people are actually watching our, our Facebook page. This just elevated Willie's profile in the, in the eyes of everybody else, not to mention how many people are in, well, I'm in this, looking at pouring rain outside, who are going to be watching going, I want to go to Cancun. How, how did she get a trip to Cancun? Cool. Again, just raise it. Something very subtle, very, very subtle. But again, someone else is celebrating this person. How can we support it? By liking it. Oh my goodness, Cancun. Wow, I wish I was in Cancun right now. I'm in rainy Vancouver. Again, general things that we as a community as send out cards can add to do it simple post so, again so phoebe you said something and i want to i want to re-emphasize it again because it's so important so um that was a great example so look if you're friends with um whose page was that was that willie's that was willie's yes so if you see a post like that and you know that willie is in send out cards go comment on that um go comment on that post and congratulate her you don't need to say don't make it seem like you uh, celebrate, don't promote, help celebrate her. And in turn, that will attract others in our send out cards community to do that for you and your team. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell you one of the things that, that I've started doing is 
I have a Facebook group that you guys are all welcome to join. It's really um, exciting. It's called Casey Everhart's team. It's open to everybody. You guys are more than welcome to jump in there. But sometimes if I post in there, um, what I will do is I will go in my team group and I will say, hey, everybody, I just posted on Bruce Waterman's wall. Would you guys go give it a comment? That signifies, hey, guys, let's go throw him some love so that the strangers will see him and celebrate him. So if you want to be a part of that, again, go to, you can go join the team. It's, it's, any, it's open to anybody. Um, it's not customer service. It's really for, um, for people that are building. But we want to celebrate, and I'll probably change it to Casey and Phoebe's group because Phoebe's awesome. Um, <laughs> it's not really about me. I don't want it to be about me. But, but this is so huge, Phoebe. You, you, have, you have taught Facebook gold here because if all of us were to go celebrate each other, and here's the thing, I'm going to say, I actually don't spend a whole lot, a lot of time in the official Facebook group. I would rather welcome somebody on their Facebook wall for their network to see than a bunch of folks already in send out cards. So I apologize if I post on your Facebook wall and not in the official group. All those people are already in the deal. Absolutely. That's and I think that's a, I'd, that's rather a thing. I'd rather celebrate somebody getting a new manager or a new promotion or like Kathy Rickley getting new checks. Oh, this is huge. Woo! Yeah. This is one of my favorite ones, you guys. I can't even tell you. So you guys, another thing we do is we, again, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. I want you guys to think about this. How do you feel if someone gave you a shout out on Facebook, right? How does it make you feel? It, it, it's, it's exciting. And again, simple ways that we can help build that trust and credibility in our team members, their network's eyes. So Michelle Slaney Trivato, awesome rockstar senior manager, um, just a consistent, hardworking builder, crazy schedule. Now, one of the things that we do is every single month, we look and scan who they're the top five team builders. So every month, we'll just post a little thing on the page. Again, we don't mention the name of the company. It's just something to celebrate. So congrats, 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 Michelle. You're one of our top five senior manager volume builders of month, January. What a powerful way to kick off 2017. Check this though. Instead of Christmas bills, you're receiving Christmas checks. Super excited for you, Michelle. Now, people are commenting, commenting, commenting. Again, the same thing. Like those comments, say thank you. Take it in a private message. Take it in a private message to continue to build that relationship and share what you're doing. Again, sometimes you're going to have to, you know, establish that rapport a little bit. Again, ask them, what have you been up to? How was your Christmas? Et cetera, et cetera. But it's a great way to reconnect with someone. We're we said we're going to talk about expanding your network through social media. And this is a simple way that you can do it. So, and this is something we can all do, right? Just go through your team and celebrate. It might be what uh, Casey just said. It doesn't have to be based on volume for the month. Someone's helped someone get started, post something like, hey, congratulations, way to grow your business. Keep it light, keep it generic, but keep it so it creates curiosity, but elevates that person in the eyes of their network. The other thing especially, I want to say- Especially your team members. Oh, absolutely. And not even just team members, though, Case. Everybody, like celebrating. If you see someone, and this goes into the next thing, actually, I'm quickly going to touch on pictures, you guys. We are a card creating company, right? We snap pictures, we celebrate, we put it on cards. Yes. Take it a step further because that card is just going to go, for example, let's say I'm with an event with Casey. Casey's rocking the stage. I want to snap a picture of Casey on stage and I'm going to post it on his wall. Casey, you are rocking the PA stage. I appreciate you so much, my friend. Every time I'm around you, I just feel inspired. Again, I'm edifying him, but we as a community need to do more of that. Anytime you see someone on stage, you guys, that person's page, we should be blowing it up with positive affirming words. Say, oh my goodness, Casey, your story is incredible. It inspires me every single day. Who do you think everyone in Casey's world is going to wonder? It's Casey's story. Casey has a story? I want to know Casey's story. It creates curiosity. Again, think about this. If we all start doing this, all of us as a community, snap pictures. Again, if you're not comfortable with your phone, if you have an Apple or an iPhone, go to get, sign up for an Apple workshop. They're free and it's a great way to expand your network. Learn how to take a selfie. Learn how to do, I actually, I took one of those courses. I went and it's funny because they ask you, well, why are you here? And I said, well, I actually make money with my phone with a cool app. Well, what do you think people wanted to know more about what's this app about? Now, I didn't go there for that. I went there to learn how to use my phone better. I'm like, Casey, very simple <laughs> with certain things. But again, simple. If you have an Android, go to the local cell phone store, 
ask them how to do it or hire someone or ask a family member because again, pictures are so important. The more we can celebrate those moments, yes, put it on a card and send it. We want to do that, but also let's take it a step up, right? Um, so using that, you using the language to create curiosity. Paul just asked a quick question. We're going to come back around. So if you guys have questions, we'll roll them. I just saw a question pop up that I want to make sure we address. Um, Paul asked, should our profiles be public or private? Um, I'm going to tell you this. I teach social media all over the world. You've got to keep it public. You want the world to see what you're about. Social media is literally a way for you to stay in touch with people between talking to them on the phone. That's really how I look at it. So Absolutely. I want everybody, I, I have my privacy settings on Facebook, literally that says, come at my house. Here's my house and my phone number and my website because I'm building a send out card business. I want to be as accessible as humanly possible. So that's Absolutely. why this is so important. When, when Phoebe goes and posts a picture on Michelle's page, if Michelle's page is private, who cares? Nobody sees it. All Phoebe's help and boost um, kind of just went for naught. Absolutely. And let me tell you, and privacy on Facebook, nobody's going to come steal your kids. Nobody's going to come figure out that you're not at home and you're on vacation and break into your house. It's Facebook for crying out loud. Schedule some posts. Yeah, but that's such a good point too, Faith. Because the other thing you saw, you guys, Casey um, got a cool card from Jenny Potter. So he posted and shared it on her wall to say thank you and to celebrate her. One of the things that's really important when you're doing that, again, we need to use a little bit of common sense with that too. So let's make sure if you're posting a card, some people don't put their address on, don't let that be seen. You might have to block it out. Or if it's a really personal message, again, use your discretion. You may not want to, I, I don't post every single card that I receive. Eve. sometimes I'll just post a, a thank you picture on word swag and post it on someone's wall and say hey thanks so much for the great card because it may not be an appropriate card to put on display so again definitely celebrate people but we do want to use a little bit of common sense when it comes to addresses phone numbers private information too depends on the person though right okay so we we're talking about that yeah. a little bit too. I'll, I'll give you two examples um if you'll notice that card that I posted of Jenny Potter back on my wall um, you'll notice that I actually didn't show the full message on the right-hand side because that message was a heartfelt message from Jen, Jenny and Dave, and I didn't want to breach that trust. Like, I'm going to go spread what their heartfelt message was on the card. That's number one. Number two, um, and this was, I, I was actually, I'll, I'll, it's actually kind of a funny story. Um, it, it's not funny that it happened, but it's funny how I was trying to practice this as soon as Phoebe was on my call last week and we talked about it. Um, I picked a card up from Jordan and I was like, Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So I went and I took a picture of the inside of the card. The message wasn't that heartfelt. I thought, Oh, no problem. Um, and I posted the card on Jordan's wall. Well, Vanessa happened to catch on Jordan's wall and noticed that I just posted Jordan's cell phone number all over his Facebook wall without permission and without asking him. So I quickly like caught myself, took it down, reposted it. And I just put my thumb over his phone over his phone number so that I blocked out his phone number. So you do have to be a little bit um, use some discretion when you do this, like Phoebe said. Absolutely. And it goes back to the give, 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 ask, right? We don't want to be plastering all over just cards, 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 cards cards, cards, right? Um, that can get a bit much. So you want to use discretion, but it is a great way again to celebrate people. But I want it, the pictures is just a simple way that we can do it. The other thing case I'm looking at time wise, and I just want to quickly touch on, cause we did talk a little bit. We want to show you how to expand your network. So, um, that is a quick way to do it with when people comment or like, again, on public, say, thank you, take it to private message and then message them, create that rapport app schedule time to show them send out cards. Okay. That's a simple way. Other way you can do it when you're at, I just mentioned you guys, I'm sitting here. I'm about to be at a networking event. I'm going to make connections and whatnot. Send obviously a nice to meet you card, but add them on your social media, right? Add them quickly. It talks about the audit because they're probably going to do the same thing for you. So make sure you've audited. You have a great profile picture, a great cover picture, but add them because again, sometimes you may not schedule an appointment with them right away, but people are watching us. Another thing I want to quickly show you guys. Um, uh, while, while Phoebe's pulling up her next slide, I'll tell you, when I go to a networking event, you guys, I don't take business cards. The first thing I do when I meet somebody at a networking event, what do I do? Selfie, put a picture on the front of the card, type a quick message, add a box of brownies, hit send. That's all I really know how to do. That's number one. Number two, 
I write there on the spot. I go add them on Facebook and then I say, hey, I'm going to send you a private message so when you get home, we can stay connected. And I, I'm right now, I'm into private chat with them before they ever get home. Absolutely. Just that two, those two things make me so much deeper connected to people than handing them a business card in hopes that they call me back. Absolutely, because now you have a touch point, right? You've connected with them online, there's pictures, they get to know a little bit about you, which is why it's so important that we all do the audit of our page that Casey talked about. Because again, our Facebook is our social media is a reflection of who we are. Another quick way you can expand your network, and you guys, this is so powerful, and us as a Sandal Cards community, when we start doing this, this is how we're gonna grow our teams all over. Okay, I know that in February, okay, I'm gonna use Seattle, for example, there is a Promptings Academy headed up, Julie Hansberry um, is taking the lead on this in Seattle coming up in May. So simple way to play the who do you know game. You go to your Facebook, you literally type in the top, my friends who live in Seattle, okay? Look it up. There are all the people who I know who are based in Seattle. I can literally hit all and I can go down. Now, obviously I'm not gonna message Julie, Goodbye, Julie. But I'm going to look for people who I'm connected to who aren't yet in send out cards. And what do I do? I send them a private message. Hey, um, Karen, for example. Hey, Karen, I'm expanding my business in Seattle. Would love to pick your brain a little bit about the city. When can we get together either this week or next for a quick um, online conversation? Can you help me out? I did this this morning with Sydney, right? Lisa joined, heading up a Promptings Academy in Sydney, Australia. That's what I did at 5.30 this morning. <laughs> actually um, I hopped on there and I said my friends who live in Sydney I had two friends two people that I know that are outside of send out cards that live in Sydney that I went to high school with so I literally sent them a message this morning a private message exactly what I said I'm expanding my business to Sydney Australia and I'm looking for some just insight on the area can we schedule a quick call so I can show you what I'm working on pick your brain a little bit and uh, it would really help me out a lot and again, I'll keep you guys posted on that. I just sent that. No, two people I went to high school with. I've been out of high school for quite uh, five years. No, just kidding. I've been out of high school for a little while now. So again, reestablish the rapport, but I'm going to show it to them, right? Simple, simple, simple. Last thing, Case, and then I'll flip it over to you and we'll do some questions. Another simple way to expand your network through social media groups, right? Casey even talked to take a step for a join a group. Now I went to um, school up in, in Canada. I went, it's called Simon Fraser University. This is where I went to school. I was an athlete, right? So SFU athletics alumni join groups, join groups and reconnect with people. Now we have a commonality. What? We went to university together. We're athletes. One of the things with athletes, we're very driven people. We set goals. We like to do a lot of team members that I have are people I played soccer with before, right? Again, commonality. So this is a group that I'm part of. Again, give, 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 ask. So I want to give value. I want to reconnect with people, find out what they're doing. And again, that's a simple way to expand your network. What are you interested in, right? Find things that you're interested in and hop on there. Now, again, we don't get paid to be on Facebook. I've got to say that again, focus on money-making activities. But here's a simple way when it's like, how do you expand your network? Join groups, Casey talked about it, creating groups, simple ways online that we can take it a step further. And again, though, I wanna go back to that audit because it's so important, because when you're connecting with new people online, you better believe they're gonna go check out your Facebook and decide, do I wanna make this connection, right? So our Facebook really needs to be a representation of who we are, keeping it positive, engaging, great pictures, helping, and people wanna come back and visit you. And Phoebe, let's stay on this group thing for just two seconds, unless you're going to flip it, flip it back over to me. I was going to give it back to you. That's kind of what I want to just chat on. Okay, flip it back over to me. But here's the thing. Um, you guys on groups, one of the ways, if you're not at 5,000 friends on Facebook, um, easy way to do that is go in a group and add value. That, that athlete's group that, that Phoebe just showed. She could give value, give value. Hey, it's great to see you guys. Hey, who's playing ball now? I don't know. Who's playing soccer now? Who's kicking around the ball or whatever? And then the ask in the give, 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 ask part is this simple phrase. Hey, I love, I would love to reconnect with you. If you have any interest in reconnecting, shoot me over a friend request and let's chat. And what that does is it allows somebody else to send Phoebe a friend request rather than Phoebe going and just hitting friend request, friend request, friend request, friend request. I made the mistake in the early days of Facebook. I probably have 2,000 friends on Facebook that I'm never going to talk to. I don't really know. And now I'm at 5,000. I'm blocked because Facebook blocks you at 5,000 friends. 
So let's say, for example, that you wanted to work with veterinarians, okay? And you go join doggy groups, doggy walking groups, and you're adding value and you're making people and you're saying, hey, let's get together and chat. We'll walk our dog together. It could be very simple as saying, hey, if you're, vet, if you're a veterinarian and, and you, you know, I love working with super smart veterinarians, if you're a super smart veterinarian, shoot me over a friend request, let's connect. And let them send you a friend request. It'll be a heck of a lot easier later down the road than you sending them a friend request. Now, the, one last thing before we jump into um, before we jump into questions, you guys. And you can either do questions in the chat, guys, or if you want to do them in the Q and A, um, do them do them in the Q and A section. We'll, we're going to bounce through a couple of them. Okay, so one other thing too, sorry, before I just want to throw it out there and then go ahead. Um, the other thing you guys, when you're at joining groups, think about it this way. Who is the ideal person that you want to work with? Who is the ideal person you're as a team member that could rock this business better than you? Where would you find them? Hint, hint, personal development event or groups, um, book club, like different things. So think of it that way too. Where, is, where are some of the people that you want to connect with? Where are they at? Join those groups. Again, not to ask for anything but to give 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 ask so important case take it away okay so you guys i want to show you something i just want to point out something when you're on facebook and you've got your chat all of these people up here are people that are currently live on facebook with this green dot okay they're live so i can tell that vanessa is live so it's very easy for me to pop in here open a window and now i can start a conversation with her and i know that she's here oh i oh Sorry, I better not do that so you guys don't see a bunch of chats. Um, uh, so these are all people that you're normally good friends with. But here's, the, here's where the value is, you guys, for me. See this where it says more contacts? I have 298 people that are currently on Facebook right this second that are not in my favorites list, okay? So all I did was open up five chats here. And I'll show you how I did this just logistically so you can see it, okay? All I did is I went here, watch what I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? I now have seven chats open, okay? Here's one that I've already prospected, okay? Look, hey Anna, hope you're doing awesome. I was wondering what kind of cell phone do you use? She writes Samsung Galaxy S6. Hope you're doing awesome too. Now, this was April 24th of last year. Bad follow-up bad follow-up okay but um it doesn't have to be that way um let me know when you have a whopping six minutes here's somebody i obviously did this to as well um let me see this was somebody i had this conversation with a while ago um again hey alfredo hope you're doing awesome i was wondering what kind of cell phone you have hello casey i have an htc desire 66 quick question for you this might sound familiar if I could show you a way to make some money with the HTC sharing an app that everybody loves to use, would you want to take a look at it? Sure. Do you have six minutes to focus on a video that shows you how it works? Not now. I can only use Messenger, but I can't view videos. No worries. Has an awesome time on what's left of the weekend. Thanks for reaching out. Send the video and I will check below. Here, I just shared the app. Thanks, Casey. I'm, uh, I'm the current global distributor of the year, so I kind of have this dialed in. Cool, so how you been with it for a while? 10 years, wow, set for life, pretty much. Depends on your definition of set, I suppose. I haven't followed up with this guy, I don't even know who he is, okay? But what happens is, I don't get caught up in all of that rigmarole. I might have 50 chats open, all going through and asking them some version of the same process. This is what I do in my pockets of time. So Phoebe will say we don't get paid to be on Facebook, I get paid to watch TV because when I'm watching TV is when I'm doing this. And I might have 15 different chats open in various stages of those conversations simultaneously. Okay. Phoebe. Okay. I think what you just said is so powerful because yes, when I say we don't get paid to be on Facebook, I mean, scrolling through, unless you grab a quick picture, put it on a card and send it to someone. Other than that, yes, hanging out and just scrolling for, we don't get paid to do that. But what you just showed is connecting with people. You're connecting with people, you're expanding your network, which is what we do get um, indirectly paid for. So really, really important. Um, Case, you want to answer some questions and then uh, let's go. And again, you guys, if you have more questions, you know where to find us. Um, so let's go ahead and, and uh, yeah. Answer those. You want to do them? Go ahead. Yeah. So, um, awesome guys. So let me do this now. Um, I'm going to pull up the chat. If you have questions, 
go ahead and put them in the chat or in the Q and A, and I'm going to uh, we'll fire off uh, we'll fire off answering some questions. I'll do the Q and A, and I know that Phoebe's got a role, so um, I will go through questions for a few minutes. Um, I do want to say this: think attraction rather than promotion. It's, it makes a huge difference for you guys. Attraction rather than promotion. Um, you guys are all going to, by the way, get a copy of this recording, so no frets. Um, go tell Phoebe she did an awesome job on her Facebook wall, please. Go do a word swag. Go do a thing. Go tell her she did awesome. Um, and so can we give Bruce some serious Facebook love? Because he is the one who mastermind this, you guys. So hop on Bruce's, Bruce Waterman. Connect with him. He's incredible. Casey, make sure you give him the shout out. And we're going to answer some questions, and then I'm going to disappear. And let's keep this to under an hour for all the yep. replays. So here's the thing, you guys. If you want to connect with Bruce on Zoom, he can help get you set up. Or you can go to awesomevideowebinar.com, and you can, you can check out Zoom. I use Zoom every single day, but I don't know how to really use it. So, um, uh, let's see. Let me just scroll to the bottom. Should Facebook be public rather than just friends? We got that, Paul. Um, is this being recorded? Yes, you'll get the rec you'll get the um, you'll get the recording of this. Um, Word Swag does work for Android as well. Somebody put that in the chat. I know it works for iPhone. I think it's five or six bucks. Here's the thing: it's a cup of coffee. It's an ice venti soy latte from Starbucks. So, um, I invest that, um, I invest that, uh, in my business. So, um, if you guys have questions, oh, okay. Is this being recorded? Yes. Uh, Casey, I tried to post an edification on your wall tonight about this webinar, but I can't because we're not friends. How do I edify you if we're not friends? You can't. So, um, the easiest thing to do, Rachel, is to send me a private message. Um, what I will do on that private message is I will then kick somebody off and I'll accept your friend request or when you post it It'll probably say pending and I'll go in and check it if it's pending and hit um, uh, hit um, uh, Hit public or yeah, I put on my page um, Okay, uh, Bonnie asks can we make our business page public without our personal page Bonnie? That's a great question not really. You could put your personal page on private and your business page on public. The reality is Facebook doesn't really like business pages, so you're never going to get the play that your, public, your profile will. Your profile is your public page. Your business page is your business page. I have a business page that has 15,000 fans on it. I don't get hardly any engagement on there versus my profile page. So if you're building send out cards and you're using social media, I recommend that you open up your public page and your profile page, and I know I can hear it already. Yeah, but that's only for my real friends. You know what? You're in the network marketing profession. You got to market to a network, and your network is going to follow you, and a guy like me is going to find you whether you're public or private. Um, okay, Bonnie also asked, can I delete a video that somebody else posted to my wall? I tried, but there's no delete button. Um, great question, Bonnie. It should be a little drop down arrow in the upper right corner of the post. Um, and you'll have to just do that drop down and it should give you the option to either hide the video or, um, or delete it. Um, Bonnie's out in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I'm so jealous. Okay. So Phoebes, I think that is, um, okay. Okay, great question. Uh, Sharif, awesome question. So this is a great question. It says, hey, Casey and Phoebe, I totally understand about keeping your profile public. I heard from another network marketers webinar that you should keep your friends list private because you don't want anyone who connected with you accessing your database of people. What are your thoughts? Um, if somebody's going to come on and try to steal my network away, they're kind of gross people anyways. And um, I think they're gross. I, my, I'm an open book. I just, I believe in being an open book. I get that. To me, that's a little bit in the scarcity model. But um, I, can, I, I mean, I can go both ways on that. For me personally, here's where the opposite of that plays true. When I go to connect with somebody and I don't see who their friends are and, they, and I don't see how many friends I have, personally, this is just me personally, I'm not going to really connect with somebody on Facebook and give them one of my 5,000 slots if they have three friends. I'm in the network marketing profession. I want to build with and work with people that have large networks of people. And anybody that's secure in their network and their, their build, 
um, is not going to really have a problem with that, I don't think. Phoebe, you have any thoughts on that? Totally agreed. Um, I just wanted to say one last thing. So actually two things. First of all, Casey, thank you so much for setting this up. I think what we have shared in terms of just tips to, to elevate is just huge. So thank you so much for being the incredible leader that you are. You just give so much value to everybody um, it, within Send No Cards and just within the community life in general. So I just appreciate you so much. You guys, last thing I want to give everybody who's on here and listening to replay a challenge. Before the end of the night, I want you to go on someone's Facebook wall, on their personal sender, sorry, their personal page, and give them some love. It can be anyone who has made a difference in give your personal Bruce. journey. Give it to Bruce, but other people too. Bruce is definitely Bruce is incredible. Um, but give it to someone else. So you too, then Bruce Waterman and someone else. Pick someone who's made a difference in your Send No Cards journey. And again, take what we just talked about, grab a picture, do a word swag, do whatever you want to do, but reach out to them, tell them how much they've motivated you or inspired you and give them some love. It's going to make you feel amazing. And then of course, send them a card. So you guys, I'm going to hop off here, but thank you guys so much for being on and just keep rocking it. I love send no cards. Love you guys. And thanks so much, Case. And Phoebe, I want to just say a huge shout out to you. Thank you for all you do. The value that you bring to our space and our community is unmatched in not only the Send Out Cards community, but the network marketing community and the business, biz, the business community at large. You are an amazing leader and I can't think of anybody I'd rather be on this journey with. Going on the cruise, uh, you guys, we're, getting, we're taking a cruise. If you're not registered for the cruise, there's a few spots left. Go to SockAtSea.com. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I just wanna do two more quick things. I wanna give uh, a quick shout out to Bruce again, thanking him for putting this together and help. Thank you guys for jumping on here. I know there's a thousand things that you could be doing tonight and you chose to be here. I hope and Phoebe hopes from both of us, we hope that we've brought some value and helped you uh, move your send out cards business along a little further. You'll get the recordings of this um, as soon as we're done. I think it automatically sends it out tomorrow. Um, finally, uh, if you want to jump on my weekly calls, it's thecoolcall.com. And if you want to jump in my Facebook group, just go search Casey Eberhardt's team and uh, go ask to join it. We, we, we let everybody in. It's open for Send Out Cards distributors. You guys, this has been awesome. We've had a blast. We're right at the top of the hour. Thank you guys so much. Phoebes, you rock it. I got to go watch my new copy of Air Bud. Phoebe is a star of Air Bud. She, may, she just gets so worked up every time I say it. So with that, you guys, have an amazing evening. Give somebody else an absolutely awesome, awesome day. You guys, we'll see you next time.